Thanks for staying with us on The Pulse. To education now, the Ghana National Association of Teachers is asking the government to urgently release books based on the new curriculum to teachers. According to the association, the delay in releasing the books is affecting academic work because teachers have to fall on manuals or materials that are not prescribed. Central Regional Chairman of the Association, Reverend Dr. Isaac Ousu, said this as the sixth quadrennial delegate conference of the association in Cape Coast. Richard Kojonyako has the rest of the story. The new curriculum was designed in 2019 as part of the learning experiences necessary to equip school pupils and students for higher education and the world of work. Following the development of the Common Core Program Curriculum, 153,000 teachers across the country, educational authorities say, received the initial training based on the curriculum. But the Ghana National Association of Teachers says the books based on the curriculum are yet to be supplied to the schools to enable teachers and the pupils to use. Central Regional Chairman of NAT, Reverend Dr. Isaac Ousu at the sixth Quadrennial Delegate Conference in Cape Coast appealed to the employers to act now. The issue of a textbook for the new curriculum at the primary and KG level, we started this implementation 2019. And we are in 2021 now. And as I speak to you, the teachers are only using the manual that was given to them at the training workshop. And so we do not know why up to now uh, the employer is not giving the student and the teacher's textbook and the teacher's guide. If you look at accommodation situation for teachers in the country, it's another challenge. You see, promotion and upgrading, another challenge. So, you know, we are, all that we are saying is that we are appealing to the employer and the government of Ghana to come to the aid of the teachers so that we all live in a harmonious uh, workplace or work environment to do our part as teachers to, to help Mother Ghana. Deputy General Secretary of NAT in charge of administration and labor relations, Daniel Afedu assured members of the association a committee has been put in place to look into the retirement packages of teachers. Issues of pension is high agenda on our table as I speak the issue that the regional chairman referred to about the payment of the past credit, there is a committee at the national level which is working on, and it has to do with the law. And there is a proposal that if there is a law that is making people worse off than they found themselves, either the law is amended or something else is done to make the lives of our people better. Because if someone has retired in 2020 and has received something that cannot take him home, as the closer chairman who is general secretary will say, Kofiko Wupen. Let's explore this issue further. And joining us on the, on the program is John Annan. He's the acting executive director, or the director general, pardon me, for the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment, NACA. Uh, Ms. Nandan, thanks for joining us. Why have the textbooks delayed? Hello? Ms. Nandan, you're Good on air. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, with regards to the textbook, uh, when the news was going on, I heard something like common call. Uh, common core is meant for GHS, which we have not even started. And when we talk about the pre KG and the primary school, that is the standard based curriculum. So the common core is also standard based. With practice regarding textbook provision for curriculum for teachers. Normally, when the curriculum is completed, before panels are put in place to write textbooks using the curriculum outline, that has been the practice over the years. Uh, this time around, and that one too was government of Ghana that had the mandate to do that. But this time around, we have textbook policy that has entrusted the writing and publishing of books in the hands of the private sector. 
just promoting the private sector as the engine of growth. So government no longer has a mandate in the publishing, printing, and then probably distribution of books. With the standard-based curriculum for KG and primary, in April 2019, it was adored by Ghana Education Service. And publishers, as our mandate, we met them and then gave them orientation and supply them with the curriculum so that they will go and get writers to write the books. That will come along with the presentation in September 2019. We gave them the submission process and the guidelines that they needed to follow. Quite unfortunately, the books that started coming for us to assess and approve, majority of the books were written based on objective-based curriculum. So that could not be used for standard-based curriculum. As a result, most of them were rejected at the first stage of the submission. That was the process that went on until COVID even came in in March 2020 to uh, make schools close down. Now, currently, as I sit here, we have been able to approve over 1,100 books on the KG and primary school standard-based curriculum. Books that are meant to be used by teachers in the classroom by the provision made by the policy, textbook policy, those school books have been assessed and approved. They need to go to the Ministry of Education and pick tender forms to be for government to buy their books for distribution. I am aware that this process has reached almost the concluding stage and government is almost at the stage of purchasing these books for distribution and supply to school so that teachers will use. It is a process that has delayed but it is not that people have not been committed to what they are expected to. Yes, we will sympathize with our teachers that you start uh, using a curriculum and the requested material that you are supposed to do is not there or not available. As for the teachers, this may not be a major problem because the curriculum is quite explicit. And if you are to teach a topic, we are much aware as professionals. Textbooks are mainly reference books. And you can have other alternatives where you can get the content that you need to teach. With the curriculum as a guide, it tells you exactly the aspect of the content that you have to teach. But the children are those that are rather suffering. Because if your teacher teaches and you are unable to get everything clear, you are supposed to get a, a, some textbook for reinforcement to read for better understanding. And that is what is not there. Mm. All that we can say is that uh, the situation is under control and there is a process that the purchasing and distribution of this book have to go through, right. which is under uh, control. So we plead with them to exercise some small patience and very soon it will be okay. For those who may not be so familiar with the school curriculums um, and reopening times and when this particular syllabus started, for how long, Mr. Annan, have these children been suffering? Yeah, thank you so much. Like I narrated, uh, as of now, MOE is almost at the concluding stage. You know, this time around in Ghana, we have the procurement law. 
you can't just get up and procure something or buy something. So they are following the procurement process. And that is the Ministry of Education. I am at NACA. We developed the curriculum and we are supposed to assess books and approve. But we do not recommend books. We only assess and approve. And the private sector publishers are those who are supposed to write the books, submit to NACA, and then we go through the approval right. processes for them. Right. Right. Uh, my, my question, Mr. Annan, was for how long? You said earlier that the teachers may be fine, but the children are suffering. For how long have the children been suffering? How many terms? How many months? Well, what I can say is that when it started the 20, 2019 September, it was in March that in the second term, I think the middle of the second term, that the COVID crisis came. And if my memory serves me right, on the 15th of March was when the president announced, the president announced on the 15th of March, Sunday evening, that from the 16th, schools should close down. And schools reopened in January 2021, uh, that they were asked to go back to school. And if we are to put those things, I think even those who were supposed the, the, the various classes in which the children are, or the children were, uh, they were uh, promoted in a wholesale manner. So almost everybody moved to the next stage. And that is where they are. And the first term of their new class, where they are supposed to do recovery learning, is where the primary schools and teachers, they are vacated now. But the junior high school, they are still in school. And right. they have not yet vacated, but right. they are having the semester uh, program. Right. But right. we are much aware that government very soon will so, finish and the books come. So, Mr. Anand, they have been suffering since 2019 September. Hello. Mr. Anand, they've been suffering since September 2019. From your words. They have not been suffering. I'm, I'm simply using your words here. Um, there were students who wrote the BEC in, two, in 2020. Uh, will they yeah. fall under this category of people who did not have the textbooks to use at home? And how were they to study without the textbooks? JHS is using old curriculum. And the old curriculum, they already have books since 2007. I just needed that clarity. Thank you. Um, I, I, the HS curriculum has not been changed. And even for public education, when the new curriculum comes, it starts from a certain grade level. So for the JHS, because it's an exit uh, phase, it's only Form 1 who will start the use of the new curriculum. Right, right. Those in Form 2 and Form 3 will continue with the old curriculum. Because you can't change the curriculum midway and examine them on it. Right. So they will not be affected in any way. Right. It's only the form ones that will start the new curriculum. Right. Just and for the DHS so one, now if they are to start, because of the uh, recovery of learning loss that is going on, if they are to start the curriculum, they, we have already prepared learners resource pack and teachers' resource pack accompany the curriculum because of the lessons learned from the primary school implementation where the publishers were unable to meet the timeline so that books will be made available for the people. So we have already prepared this one that will accompany the new curriculum so that the teachers will have a resource pack which right. is more or less like a teacher's guide. And the learners will also have learners back which is for learn like a textbook. And they will use it until publishers are able to fill in the gap. When will the textbooks arrive, Mr. Annan? That is a question for the Ministry of Education. In which you work, Mr. Annan, as an organization so operating under the ministry. Working, I am working as an agency. Yes, reporting to the Ministry of Education. There are 17 agents. Reporting to it the Ministry of Education, Mr. Annan. It's not my mandate to uh, uh, 
case book, procure book for school. You know, we developed the curriculum. The implementation agency is the Ghana Education Service. So right. I, 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 I understand that the, the, the hierarchy, if, if the I may. Of the material. I, I miss, Ms. Adam, if I may, I understand the, the organogram of the ministry, but on the website it says that you report to the ministry, which means that, basically speaking, you are a part of that organization, which is why I'm asking you if you okay. are aware. Thank you so much. Mm. I report to the minister based on my mandate. And my mandate is to develop curriculum and assessment standards for pre-tertiary institutions other than technical and vocational institution. So when I develop the curriculum, a report that I've completed, then I hand it over. And that is where my mandate ends. If it comes to the implementation, it's the Ghana Education Service. If it comes to procurement of other uh, materials and other things, resources for the school, that is the ministry. And then the agency is responsible for that implementation. So my mandate has ended right. when I right. completed the curriculum and handed it to Uma. Right. So in simple terms, you don't know when they'll get the books. I have not said to. I'm saying my mandate has ended. So if you want to know when the book will come, either you call GES or the ministry, because that is their mandate. My right. mandate is not to distribute any book with the school because there's no school that works under my agency. Mr. John Annan, thank you very much for joining us on The Pulse. You're live on the Joy News channel. Let's